Hey there, uh, Max. Time is seemingly like an illusion, but time is given to you to work out your own confusion, right? Time collapses all those records of false creation that are held against the name of God. Of course, you are the name of God, right? God gave you his name. You are God. But anything that's an illusion is like a record against you. And uh, time is given to you to work out your own salvation. I think it's amazing. Hello, Zatty. You look so pretty there. And uh, I think it's wonderful that uh, time has given you to work out your own salvation. I see the beautiful grandchild there. What a family. There goes Zatty and her daughter and the beautiful grandchild. I see them there. So there you go there, uh, Max Blue. Time has given you to work out your own salvation. And when you have a sudden realization that what God has given you is true and you collapse, you start to collapse a construct that's been created in time, like a vain imagination, like a false realization through misinformation. It's like a corporate projection of a delusion of your self-identity. What happens is when you collapse that, certain pockets of time uh, suddenly don't appear within your vision or within your mind or within the, within the constructs that shut you down. It's like a miracle would be when you suddenly realize on a certain aspect of your life a certain iniquity that is still operating through your temple, your body, of the ancestral record. In other words, you're still trying to perpetuate the ancestral lineage of a certain energy and they are running their agenda through you. You are uh, a perpetuation of the aberration. You have aberrated thought, they are perpetuating it through you. You are a willing slave to the thought of separation. You are the devil working their agenda, right? And suddenly you say to yourself, Oh, hey, hang on just a second. I don't want to uh, perpetuate that function in my life. No. Holy God, come down to me. Cleanse me of this record in time that is in my mind against your name because you've created me in your name, Holy God. Cleanse this record that is a charge against me in your name that I shall be discharged and this charge shall be struck from the record of my self-identity. I don't want this to be in my file of self-identity. I have realized that this is ancestral baggage. This is some part of the history of my flesh that is trying to perpetuate itself through me and getting me to agree with it, and I no longer agree with that. Right? I no longer agree with that baggage, with that perpetuation of aberration, that false information that is forming me, informing me of my creation of identity. I don't want to associate with that any longer. I now diffuse that. Through the power of truth, Father, Mother, God, Creator One, bring to me the power of your life to dissolve this false image that I had conceived of myself in this particular aspect of my life. And you know what happens? The moment that you want truth to appear, in the place of a vain imagination that you hold about yourself through a perpetuation of aberration from ancestral misinformation, you shall be set free on that degree. 
you shall be set free on that degree that you agree with God concerning thee that you are still holy and perfect and undefiled. But there are yet many more images in your biological anatomy that you are to deal with. So you, you call upon the Holy Ghost, the entire host of the living one. And you say, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit of Truth, come into me, search me, see whether there be any iniquity in me. I want to also release those records of time held against me, against your name. You said, oh, Holy God, that you created me in your name, and yet these images have blurred your true being in me. Shine your light upon that, Holy God, that I can see the iniquity that I hold in me concerning my identity. I want to be set free. And you will continue, every one of you, you will continue to cleanse and purge yourself through the fire of your desire to aspire higher, higher unto Him who created you in the image and likeness of itself. Right? God created you in the image and likeness of itself and you have taken on board in your biological computer many voices of dead men and you have identified with them and you die as a result. So you're going to retain uh, the living memory. You're going to overwrite the corruption and rise up into life. You're going to become immortal, eternal, incorruptible through the predetermined action of your mind right here in this time as you hear me speaking to purge yourself of all of those deformations that are in your body held down as archives of self-identity within the DNA of the temple of the one that you say you are as yourself. You're going to heal yourself. You're going to heal yourself. You're going to let God say who you are and no longer let dead men identify you. You've heard the voices of dead men and all of the sound tones of the voices of dead men have been recorded by your biological apparatus called the body in the DNA. Everything records its environment. Even scientists say this today. Even atoms are recording everything that's going on around them. They're continuously recording their environment. And your body is made up of many, many trillions of atoms recording your environment through many space-time incarnations. That's your self-identity, your self-realization. And suddenly, right here, right now, you'll realize that you have a false identity. You've been archiving unreality. Dead words of dead men have been recorded in your biological anatomy in many incarnations. And now you're going to say to yourself, hey, it's not true. I want God to speak to me. I want my true reality to return to me. I want the word of truth to overwrite the word of corruption that is this body. This body is a representation of corruption. All atoms in my body are in a state of decay and I'm going to death. This is a body of death. I want to hear life. Right through space and time, I want to rewrite this life that's mine. I want to hear the word of truth and overcome death in the body. O oh, living one that I am before the world began, speak to me words of truth that I can rewrite this body of life here and now. I was death, I was dead, I was diseased, but now you've come to me to restore my power. Come to me. And when you call life to you, you will no longer have a body of records of the voices of dead men who spoke to you about your identity, but you will hear the living word of Jesus Christ speak to you and rewrite your book of life, and you will overcome death in your body. Jesus overcame death in his body. Right? And he has fulfilled all things. He is the one who has come out of his tent. He's the one, he's the bridegroom who has passed through all the heavens and the heavens of heavens cannot contain him. He is the one who has gathered all things unto himself. He learned obedience through the things he suffered and he overcame death in his body 
and that at one minute he now sends to you that you would eat and drink of that life too. That you, receiving the fullness of the firstborn son, Jesus, the firstborn son, the head of creation, yeah, he came to leave many sons to glory, right? He's the preeminent one. When you eat and drink of this one, those codes and keys and frequencies of healing will flow into you and you'll overcome death in your body too, right? You will overcome death in your body too. Because God is you. And through that one son, you can know yourself. We're all members one of another before the world was. I can speak on and on and on. Anyway, hand over the mic. Hand over the mic. Thank you for listening, room. I know you can hear me because my voice is flowing freely unto you.